Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is That Bob Trey, where we do reviews and opinion pieces on Nicki Minaj, pop culture, and world events. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and enjoy the video. This video is only going to have one sole topic, and that is going to be the beef that is going on right now on social media between JT and Cardi B. And Nicki Minaj is a spectator. So she starts off today with praising herself with her Super Freaky Girl song going to number 6 on the Billboard chart, dropping down one more but staying within the top 10. And earlier than that, she tweeted Obsession, which was very much so foreshadowing for the events that were going to unfold hours later. And then Cardboard, following behind the Queen, tweets, Cousin, we've made it to the top 10 at Glorilla the Official or whatever the fuck. I'm just like, mm, mm, mm. Um, this is coming like two hours after Nikki posted her top 10. Um, this is very weird, especially since this bitch is number 9. <laughs> <laughs> Seemingly simultaneously, JT is over here tweeting Some stan ass strawberry shortcake on Twitter named JT Hate Page at KD Lifey says JT Akbar V, Bia and Katie got bands after seeing Glorilla get a top 10 hit without doing all that dick writing and extra shit. This was a slightly popular tweet since this got about 6.9k likes. JT defends herself saying, I'm not like that at all. I've been doing remixes and never got credited on a chart, but they get sung word for word and help push the original songs as intended. Unlike y'all, well, I can't even say y'all because y'all don't rap, you tweet. Congratulations, Glow, and stream FNF remix and Queen Mix. So JT was basically being nice and was giving Glorilla her tens and was also saying, we're gonna go ahead and give Queen Mix her tens. JT then says, I hope you don't think you know Bully. All you gotta do is be happy. That's enough to make a motherfucker mad. So apparently the girls were having prohibited after hour cell phone conversations behind Twitter's back and then decided to come to Twitter when they got too frustrated with one another. And remember back when I said that Nikki was boasting about her being in the top 10 of the UK and the Billboard chart, but Cardi then goes two hours later and says, and my records live in the top 10, retweeting chart data. And apparently there was correspondence between Cardi B and JT behind the scenes. And so apparently Cardi comes back and says, lapdog. And then JT goes to Twitter and says, wiener dog, and then go fetch. JT responds to Cardi saying, you go fetch a real talent. We DMing. Why you come back here to put on a show for these kids? So the back and forth continues and Cardi says, So wait, me and you talking in DM woman to woman and you take it to your timeline and throw shots calling me a bully and a wiener dog. Why you playing dumb and you talking about a talent? Ha, you forgot P tried to put me on with your writer. I guess we heard that correctly. JT and the City Girls definitely have writers. JT responds, that was before you replied and said you was talking about me. So tell the world why you said I'm a lapdog. JT responds to a non-factor benefan named Bree the Don on Twitter saying, Nikki put you up to this. JT responds saying, no, 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 no. Again, see y'all want to know so bad, but be wrong. I don't gossip with her about nobody. All this because of a fan page. JT continues her response to Cardi saying, no, you wanted our writers for our hooks, for our sound, because you clearly have none. Ask any writer, I write my own shit. We already know that Cardi doesn't even write her rap, so I don't even know why she's mentioning writers. Cardi replies to a fan saying, How you sub a bitch and play victim? Girl, be serious. Cardi says, Now, how I'm playing victim? I'm standing on what I said. Matter of fact, I'm not even doing this on my timeline. It's becoming real repetitive for doggy treats. We already addressed it in the DMs. Goodbye, y'all. And then the queen of rap enters the chat, posting a gif of Nick James. Another Benefan strawberry shortcake says, The girl's chest feeling real strong, talking down on the same person that gave them their biggest hit. Why the fuck would Cardi need your writers and hooks when they haven't worked out for you in how long? You not even sing the charts with them. JT then goes on to say, I don't care about no hit man on my mother. I'm not a slave to Billboard or a chart data. Fuck all y'all. While you're at it, find a tweet where I talk crazy about Cardi B. You can't. But today was supposed to be about Glorilla. Instead, you called me a lapdog. Nah, bitch, I'm a big dog. Roof, roof. <laughs> Cardi then reposts a video of JT saying this. Cardi opened the door for a lot of normal girls that feel like they could be rappers, you know. That's, I love Cardi for that. Like, you know, Cardi, you, you seen her. I watched Cardi from being that girl in her bed to being on, on Met Gala. So it's like... Ooh, okay. Yeah. She a real. She a real. I could curse. She a real bitch. So it's like, 
yeah, um, Nikki opened the door back female female records. For someone that claims that they were going to stop tweeting, Cardi definitely continued saying, I definitely didn't. P wanted to put me onto your writers because y'all numbers make him pennies. My talent speaks for itself though. Am I the only one scratching their head wondering if she didn't notice how contradictory that statement was? She's basically trying to say she gave them their biggest hit and when she's talking about writers she's really talking about Croatia so I would be careful if I was Cardi B because you know she's making enemies that she probably doesn't intend to make. I would think that that was pretty shady on Cardi's part to be arguing with my bandmate if I was Croatia but you know of course Croatia's probably you know not that close to Cardi anyways everything is for show. Sure. Oh, I know you thought we were done, but the back and forth continues. Didn't I hit you back in the DMs 20 minutes ago? But I've got to go on the timeline for a response in your mute, but steady arguing here. Like I said, this shit is for show, opportunists. JT then responds saying maybe our timing is off. But how am I an opportunist when you called me a lapdog for no fucking reason? Makes sense. But back to the DMs I go. The girls are fighting! Child, the guys are fighting and I'm really over it at this point. They're basically just saying, oh my gosh, you know, we're going back and forth, you know, if the shoe fits where, blah, 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 blah. And we're moving on. She says, Cardi, please, I'm not pressed. I don't care. I'm not about to beef with you over YouTube, girl. Is you crazy? And then finally finishes her with Street Beach. YouTube ain't got me on no leash. One thing that I do know is Gorilla better shut her fucking mouth. JT responds to the peanut gallery that says, damn, she really be keeping up with Cardi's feed. JT responds saying, yes, because I had no problem with her. Wrong bitch. That was y'all making a fake ass problem and she went for it. And Cardi responds to her older tweet because the time differences and they were missing things that they were saying to each other. Hot shit that it higher than any song you ever dropped or been on. Prison pants. Everybody has good and bad moments, but you haven't had one since. Act up. As the pressure cools down on this cooker, JT says, I wish I would ever let a chart makes me feel less of a star. I literally came from nothing, did this shit with a rap I wrote on the road, hitting licks. I did my time like a real bitch and a bitch ain't scratch me in there and a bitch ain't scratch me in there and always for the extra chicken on Thursday. I ain't never ashamed. Cardi says things are getting a little too heated, a little too personal and Twitter is welcome for the show. Man, at this point, throw the whole bitch away. And then Akbar V hops into the chat, you know, a day late and a dollar short to aid in the argument. I mean, to be honest, Akbar V really chewed her up and left bones, bitch. She really opened a good topic for discussion saying, if Nicki Minaj win, then all y'all getting meetings. And then the most interesting, Jeffrey Doma and Cardi B is the same. I'm like, my god, did I hear that right? She says, so y'all let at I am Cardi B drug men and rob them, but saying Jeffrey Dahmer is a villain, how is she not? What she said was absolutely correct, and what worries me is that a lot of my brown brothers and sisters have the same sentiment as this person. Saying, what the fuck, everything aside, this is so weird comparing a person who killed around 30 people, cut their bodies into pieces and ate their body parts, including the heart, to someone who drugged and robbed them, da da da, never once killing. It really baffles and boggles my mind how some people can come out and say things like this and rationalize things that are obviously illegal and immoral for everyone, but they make it seem okay for Cardi B, especially since she's the one that came out and told us this information and exposed herself. Y'all sat there and let Frosty the Snowman be a predator for clout and taint her face 11 fucking times to evade the FBI. Carnivorous the Rapist will always be beneath me and I'm always going to eat that stank, melting face which knows ass bitch up every chance that I get. And y'all bring down Nicki Minaj, the black woman, for the Latina woman and the fact that she's done all these horrible things that she says herself and y'all come for Nicki Minaj for things that she has never done but has been accused of by the public and by liars. And um, y'all also come for her for things that happened with her family but it doesn't have anything to do with her. Next on the docket we have Towards the end of the argument, to be petty, Nicki Minaj changed her profile picture to JT's face and then Cardi B retaliates by changing her profile picture to Remy Ma's face. I mean, it really didn't give, it was really giving the fat lady that song. But I mean, if that's what she was aiming for, I guess. And then Nicki changes her picture to this and obviously Cardi can't top it because she doesn't even know what a pen is. Anyways, that's all the time that we have today. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our posts. And have an amazing day. Let's rage. Let's go. Okay. 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 we go. Oh, get in. Get in. And you feel my vegan, vegan pussy. My vegan, vegan.
of Wales.